What's up, my people? Welcome to this episode of Match Review brought to you by Vertical Football. I'm your host for today, Shego. And with me, I have the normal guys, the usual guys, Alani and Komi. Guys, it's great to have you here. It's awesome to be here. Thank you. It's good to be back. Yeah, so the game between the Manchester Derby between Man City and their yeah, noisy neighbors now. Yes. Uh, it's Man United, the noisy neighbor now. So Manchester City 3. Manchester United won goals, two goals from Phil Foden and one from Ellen Haaland and a goal for Marcus Strasser for Manchester United. Guys, what are your thoughts? What, what are your thoughts about um, that game? You know, I I, I, be, I believe Mario, Mario was was bullied today. No, uh, you know, you know the, uh, the, the, the FA should be investigated. She understand because <laughs> Mario should not be playing Man City. <laughs> <laughs> if if that out to be happen, seven, that kind of match should be playing behind closed door. <laughs> where where, where, where there will be, be no audience. Just, just after the game. We don't hear the score after. <laughs> we, can't, we can't put the light with mm. to go and fight and and, and every show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my man, my you play it. It seems like a young boys. <laughs> Mass Mass City are main team, main team. <laughs> Men, man, you play it. It's like your young boys. Sorry. Moza. Yeah, I get you, I get you, I get you. So come in, okay. take on that match. For me, it was a tactical disaster and a show of cowardice. That's the, I think that's the only word I can sum up mm. this match. A tactical disaster and a show of cowardice. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, I think I would, com- I would want to conjoin your, your, your views, your views about the game and say, first of all, um, I agree with what um, Alani said in terms of you know the the gap between those teams is now much wide yes you get right. it's now much wide and it's something that's just it's just sad you know it's just sad it's just now so so wide and also as you said there were a lot of um in those kind of games you need your manager and your players to have the the spanish we say the cojones yeah to take unity to the vision and to stick stick together and my united um today they were afraid the coaches are afraid to make certain brave decisions yeah. the players were afraid sometimes they would they need you need to just make a pass yeah that's true they will decide to go back so now talking about the players Manchester united players what is the problem because we've we've been on this podcast many times and we talk about the players because i believe some teams don't have good coaches but they have players that are very brief exactly see what's really wrong with those group of players coming uh, I will start with this. There is no belief. There is no purpose, and I believe they are not playing for the the shirt, mm. the badge. Because the Manchester United of old, we not you will you will not even shake for them. You are going back with anger. Why will you have to shake for them? Has scored two goals against you, or uh, uh, Ireland? This is. I, I'm. I'm sorry if I'm not a very good sportsman, but your fans are angry at it. But here you are clapping, checking each other, smiling as if it's business as usual. They have no belief and they have no respect for we the fans. Mm, yeah, yeah. So Alani, shout on the players. Sh- sh- do, do, do you know? Do you know there are there are four ways to die? You do you know? Mm. Four ways to die. My my my. When you have a, a, a nagging wife. Mm. A picking that not stop crying. Mm. Oh God! And you are living in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you are you are you also a Mario supporter. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> you are in Nigeria and then you are out. you are my United fan. It's it's, okay. it's difficult. Okay. It's difficult. Okay. It's difficult. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult. Oh, honestly. Okay. Okay. It's difficult. So let's let's move to um Eric De Hag. Okay. And uh, we said earlier that. There was a show of cowardice. Um, yeah. I think he has to take the blame. Do you think Edith Hag is the man to take Manchester United forward? For today, he has lost his tactical genius. I don't know where a coach will leave a that McTominay. McTominay that has been played like a coward all through the match. And then remove a rash for that's a little bit of threats. Yes, he may not be the, the best of the best, but there was a show of threats in his game. And you left Mark Tomini doing absolutely, absolutely, absolutely nothing. nothing. Playing his normal ghost kind of football. In, yes, ghost football. Mm, ghost playing football. backward. He was mm. part of people that caused the first the first goal and also the second goal. Because that is why I'm saying that he has lost his tactical genius, genius and also making the decision cowardly. Afraid to, afraid to do what it. is necessary. In fact, 
I you said you were, my Tommy is a coward and my coach is acting cowardly. So I think I, will, I think I think one of the things that made me happy with the Hags um, first year at Manchester United was the ability to make the third decision. Yeah. But now it's as if over the summer he just lost everything. He's not trying to appease his players. He's he's not become only, making he the became, right. Sorry, I'm yeah, sorry. He no became problem. only gonna social pro max. Pro max, exactly. Uh, Alani, uh, uh, do you know Ten Hag te, 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 is like is like a woman doing <laughs> doing menstruation. Ah. You know, <laughs> during, during, during the four, four day period, you know, the, the female is already being pain, you know, they be feeling pain. Mm. After, 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 after four days, you know, they all go back being happy again. <laughs> so, Ten Hag against Farm, lost the game, against Man City, again, that was today, mm. lost the match. That, 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 four days, four, four day pain. So, <laughs> I'm, so I'm after today now, oh, hopefully, we start winning. We start winning. We start winning. Oh, I'll take your word for it. We stop. We believe we stop. But, uh, yeah. but, but for me, I believe <laughs> the act did something that every other coach, every other coaches that have done in the time past received sack letter. The yeah, next I day. think. I think yes. Some didn't even do up to this. Now. Yes, yeah. he's doing things day weekly. Do you mm. know that against Fulham, he has been playing this pattern? McTominay, I'm uh, sorry, Onana. Shoots to Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes do the final pass. Mm, yes. And I noticed. I told my friends. I said, "This pattern is what we are going to use against Man City." Man City. And lo and behold, the pattern clicked today. Hmm. That type of pattern is a show of not being brave. Yeah. You are not ready to fight. To, to fight you and just, do the necessary exactly. things that like a top team you should do. You just want to eat the cake and ah, still have and it. Have it. Yes, so yes. let's 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 talk about Manchester City. Okay. Lastly, let's talk about Manchester City because you have to give credit to them. Yeah. Okay. I felt they started the game very reserved. It's as if they're a team that knows we are going to win this match. Yes. Yeah. So it doesn't even matter if the scores mm. first. We are going to win, and they showed why they are the champions of the world, and they they deliver. Thoughts on that team and Pep Guardiola. Yeah. Okay. I know you said some things about Guardiola on the group on the group chat. Yeah. That is a is a wicked coach. So come in. Let's first okay. have you. Okay. But why why did you say he's a wicked coach? Really? Because I was expecting him to something the pedal. <laughs> you can't be lining up this amazing player against team that have um McTominay in your midfield. My know eighty years old. Ah. It's wicked. It's just being Pudin, wicked. the Pudin, Pudin, the Bernardo, Bernardo the, the, the Brenner, the Alan. The playful part is that I was saying so that Doku is too direct. It's as if Pep Guardiola is stealing. Sorry, don't let me use stealing. He's, he's, he's reading my thoughts. I mm -hmm. said Doku is too direct. He needs somebody that can do the cop play. Like Alvarez. Oh, no. Now, he brought in Alvarez. I was really thinking clean. I was thinking that Alvarez, Alvarez, we actually did the go to the wings no i saw me that i said this man no I'm, tactical I'm, genius I can't see that. tactical genius tactical oh, genius Alan, it's it's you know, the, the performance was expected you know the, yeah. the, the surprise they were, uh, we had in the game was my yeah, my my yeah so yeah, the performance is is, we knew we were yeah, going to lose expected. definitely the, the one goal is a surprise mm -hmm. myself i believe that that goal is a great great goal yeah, grace, grace, go, grace, grace, go, grace, 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 and you have problems at home on your country. I think you stop watching football for a while. For you now. Maybe but because of you can watch town. other teams, but Manchester United. Stop watching Manchester United. Stay off it. Doctors, doctors pre prescription now. <laughs> Stay off for, Manchester United. Four ways to die. <laughs> four ways to die. <laughs> so let's let, let's round up on on this note. Alani has given us four ways to die. Say number one is a yeah. nagging wife. Number two is a cry baby. Number three is living in Nigeria. Number four is supporting my tenant. So thank you very much. Um, I know you've loved and you like this um, episode of the pre or uh, post match review. So kindly like, share, and subscribe, and also follow us on all our social media platform: X, Facebook, Twitter, X, X which is Twitter, yeah, Facebook, God. TikTok, and Instagram. And also, if you're a fan of audio content, you'll see our our content scattered around Spotify. Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts. So thank you guys and have a nice time.